Hey guys, today I'll be making another tutorial video showing you how to get Matt Fong Zero every time you start up TF2. If you don't know what Matt Fong Zero is, it's basically just a way of uh, shading your game so it looks cleaner uh, and generally better. Um, I've uh, heard about it from Star's video, uh, Double Donk. Let's just uh, take a quick look at how he explains it. I know you're a spy. Oh, I can't be lit on fire. I can't be lit on fire. You're, I know you're a spy. <laughs> he just stood there. Could have shot me. I know some people too are gonna notice the lighting is a little bit different, so I might as well explain everything while we're here. Uh, it's Matt underscore Fong Zero. I actually really like the way it looks, and apparently it has a, a performance boost for right. a player. Right. Uh, so what you want to do? Um, first is go on your computer, um, go into, well, for me it's the default location, once again, for, uh, Steam. So, program files, scroll down, uh, find Steam. Then, go into Steam Apps, then Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, but this time you're gonna wanna find your CFG folder. So, open that up, um... And I have it already here. I'm just gonna take it out um, just to show you. Uh, so once you're here, just minimize this for now uh, and open up Notepad. Um, I think that's the best uh, program that works for this. So open up Notepad um, and just type in, the only thing you have to type in is Matt underscore Fong zero. Okay, uh, once that's done, you can go ahead and click file. Save as. Um, what you want to do, and this is very important, uh, so it starts up every time. You have to name it uh, auto exec. And just save it to your desktop. You can go ahead and close this. Now, if you if we go back here, uh, you'll notice that these files are all named CFG. Um, the type is CFG. So, this is, since this is text, uh, and you have to change it to CFG, just go and rename and make it .CFG. Just add that extend, uh, sorry, just add that extension there. So, that's all you need to do, autoexec.cfg. Uh, once you've done that, just control X or cut, um, and go here, go into your CFG folder, and just paste it. And there you go. The only issue though with having uh, it here, uh, if we go on properties, uh, we can see that it's still a text file. And the reason for this is that uh, this is how it was saved. It's .cfg here, but at the end it's .text. So what you have to do um, is you have to go on view, then options here uh, in the show and hide. Uh, then to back to view again and just check this off uh, It would be checked originally just uncheck it and then click apply You can see how these are dot cfg, but here it's dot cfg dot text so go and rename again and Take this part off There you go guys, that's all you need to do. And I'll just launch TF2 to show you that it works. Okay, so now that we're in game, we'll just be taking a quick little look at how Matpong Zero actually looks. Uh, we'll just start by going in loadout and I'll just pick Sniper in this example. So as you can see here uh, in this example, it is very clear that I have a very nice and usual. And also that uh, the character uh, is darker than he would usually be. Um, this is pretty useful. It, I mean, in my opinion, it looks neater, and your game will, your game FPS will be boosted. Uh, now uh, we'll take a look at how Matt Fong One looks, and as you can see, it's a little bit brighter, but Matt Fong Zero is better, in my opinion. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more.